What is up guys and welcome to Beyond Sanity and I'm my name is Shings and today we are playing a 3v3 match on the map Lebanon in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 everybody is picking random and Super Banjo just said Shanks we are gonna crush you I wanna see you try yeah Rohan and our two allies are Gondor and if you don't know in a 3v3 match the best faction you can actually get is Mordor faction by far Mordor is just so powerful and then Isengard is also very powerful because of the rain but Rohan is also one of the most powerful factions, and now you will see, but Shanks, you just named 3 out of 4 factions, <laughs> because Gondor is the weakest. Gondor is the weakest, and normally when you play Rohan in a map like this, your goal is to recruit Theorin and get him to level 4 to unlock the glorious charge, but we are not going to do this. We are actually gonna go for like a fan build, which means we will recruit the heroes, Legolas, you know, Gimli, Aragorn, the 3 hunters, and then go for the infantry, archer, heavy army. And the three hunters, they are actually quite powerful when they are together because with Aragorn's Atelas, we have a lot of sustain and then we have to heal from your spellbook. And remember, our two factions, our two allies, I mean, are also playing the good faction. So the good thing about three good factions is that you should never be worried about recovery and about sustain because now we have three heals, which means we can actually, if we can time it perfectly, keep the heroes pretty much all the time alive. Okay, at the beginning of the game, I want to creep as much as I potentially can. This way, I need to. I mean, obviously, Rohan starts with the draft from the spellbook to give those, you know, peasants some weapons so they can become a bit stronger than Lambermill workers because without draft, the peasants are just useless. And that also means that we need to fight a little bit more to actually unlock the heal from the spellbook and also the Andri's fought for Aragorn. I mean, Anduril's sword for Aragorn is pretty much like the Gandalf the White power point for Gandalf. It's a bit less impactful because Gandalf the White power point actually, you know, <laughs> gives Gandalf so much uh, tools, recharge time faster, abilities hitting like a truck, and all that good stuff. Okay, we are creeping quite a lot. We have actually almost a power point collected, which we can you now use into the heal. Let's creep the Vorklair and then we can also capture the outpost. In the meantime, my allies are also doing a good job and we don't know the enemy factions just yet. But remember what Super Benjo said at the beginning of the game. He said, Shanks, we are gonna crush you and I'm counting on it, Super Benjo. I mean, you see how strong those peasants are once you have like a couple of levels on them? That's kind of crazy. The level advantage, I mean, I know I repeat myself all the time, but it is just so important. Okay, we have a level 4 Meriorok Brandybok and we have almost the money for Legolas. If you don't know the map Lebanon, there are like two troll layers in the middle. And then we can creep one of them with Legolas and get like immediately to level 3, which means more DPS. And Legolas actually doesn't have like a... doesn't hit like a truck, but he hits like a machine gun. Like, those hits are still very, you know, they deal a lot of damage. But it's about Lego about Legolas, it's actually the constantly dealing DPS. You need to understand he's like an AD carry in League of Legends with like full attack speed build. He shoots so extremely fast that he will deal damage. You cannot ignore him. And later on, also very amazing hero when it comes to deal with enemy heroes. They appear very unfriendly. Keep your spirits high. I sense evil may be near. Okay, Legolas is level 1, the prince of the Mirkwood Elves, but we will definitely get some more levels on him. And also, I want to recruit some elven warriors to actually support Legolas in his mission to dominate the folks of Middle-earth. Okay, one of my allies is also creeping. He was also having a level 3 and a level 2 soldier battalion, which is pretty good. And as Gondor, I mean, basically, if you play good factions like Rohan or Gondor, you have a couple of options. You can go for the cavalry, which is good for harassment, but infantry on a map like this, actually, it's pretty good because you have so many creeps, you can easily get your heroes to the level you want them to get. And Gondor could, for example, start with Boromir, creep one goblin layer, get him to level 4 for more DPS leadership, and then the same with Faramir, and then you make combos, and those combos with this leadership, they will be super effect impactful. We must not linger. Okay, the opponent has actually also Rohirrim, uh, Rohan. We can crush him. But the problem with the knife fighter is you cannot choose to disable it. It's not like toggle, you know, on and off. That's not working like this. Like, for example, from Faramir's sword or from Lourdes. 
It's something you need to activate for a short period of time. If um, Ilman doesn't pay attention, he will die to my Legolas. Okay. I mean, we are looking strong. We have now a level 3 combo. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I could have killed him, but I didn't watch. <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. So, Lourdes is annoying. <laughs> the problem is we have only two archer remaining from the level 3 combo and uh, they are <laughs> not dealing enough damage but we can now bring the big gun, Lourdes. You need to watch out because Legolas is coming, the son of Thranduil. And also our ally has the three Gondor heroes, the only one missing is Gandalf. And, oh, he, okay, dude, I take it. He crippled my Merirok Brandywalk. There was a mistake. There's a, use warning arrow for him. Use warning arrow for him. He could have, oh, he should have used the warning arrow. We could have killed him. Warning arrow and host strike should be easily enough to burst down his Lourdes. Okay, we have almost the money for Aragorn. So we have Gimli and also uh, Legolas. But without Aragorn, they cannot be a monster trio. Keep your senses alert. Be ready, archers. We are a strong people. Keep them at a distance. Actually, um, did I make Aragorn from the outpost? Uh, let's, you know, <laughs> I don't want to risk the biscuit. Let's make him from the outpost. And let's level them up with the train archers. This way they will get level 4, which means even more DPS. Okay, so now we can make the transition into the Elven Warriors. Oh, I was hoping that there is the creep, but it looks like the Gondor player was creeping it. Getting Gimli to level 2 is a massive power spike, because not only you will unlock the Stubborn Pride, which means fear resistant for the nearby allied units, but also the leap attack got changed. Now it's not at level 3 anymore, it's at level 2. That means, you know, recruiting Gimli is now more important than it ever was. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the hero Gimli design in Battle for Middle of 1. And also, watch what we're gonna do with hero, uh, with, you know, Gimli in this game, and then comment again. I wanna see if your opinion changes from this moment until the end of the game. We elves will help fight against I sense Sauron. evil may be near. Let's move okay, on. Okay, here's shields. That means more durability against arrows. That also includes, of course, the Legolas damage. Legolas is also dealing arrow damage. And as you can see, they are quite tanky now. We need to shoot them multiple times. And also on top of that, they have obviously, uh, you know, the leadership from Theorin for 50% more armor. Okay, so Legolas is level almost 5. We have Gimli level 1 <laughs> only. But he will also level up later on. I will try my best to actually level him up all the way to level 5 to unlock the Slayer. Get ready. Okay, I mean, we have now the heavy armor incoming. I want to kill this Theodin. Can I finish him off, please? Can I kill him? Can I be the one who is killing him because I want to get experience? Nice, I killed him. I got level 5 and more... Imp oh my! Okay. The guy is coming, boys. Okay, that's actually very bad, dude. That's so bad. Because I couldn't recruit any else yet. And now I need to rebuild the archer range, recruit two yeoman archers, and then, and then only then, I will be able to recruit the elven warriors. The leadership from Legolas doesn't work on any other archer but the elven warriors. So in order to maximize your DPS, you need to make sure to recruit this specific type of a unit. Stay close. I am over here. We must fight with courage. This day we fight. We must remain wary. Your strength. Okay, do it. Oh my goodness. I mean, this Mordor is looking scary. Once again, Mordor, Isengard, Rohan. That's the best combination you can have in a 3v3 situation, guys. You can not have a better combination. Okay, we need to burst down this drummer troll first because he has only one drummer troll. That's a mistake most people make. Because if you make only one drummer troll, what I can do is I can kill him. It means the trolls now they will lose a big chunk of a leadership. The same also goes to the Isengard combos. And now we need to kite. Gandalf, go, go, go. Gandalf is. Oh, Gimli is popping off, boys. I mean, I didn't expect this much damage from Gimli, but it's about the crowd control. It's about the disabling effect, and we have also three power points collected. We need to invest two of them for the Anduril Sword to make Aragorn hit like an absolute track. Do you guys remember this scene? You know, when Aragorn was sleeping in the tent, and then one guy wake him up. You know, my lord Aragorn, my lord Aragorn, there is somebody in the tent. I want to see you. And then he was like, who is that? Who is that? Who is disturbing my sleep now? You know what I'm saying? And then 
they will not get past he will listen, me. but only to the king of Gondor. The music behind, in ten Elrond, you know, pulling off the Anduril sword and saying, Anduril, the flame of the west. Dude, goosebumps moment. I mean, to be honest, it's hard for me to decide which one of the moments in the Lord of the Rings trilogy was actually the best. You know, the question, which one I believe is the best movie out of these three, is also very tough because they are all legendary. Oh my, they actually hurt my Aragorn. What is this damage, dude? <laughs> Gimli. Okay, I mean, boom. The thing is, we need Gimli level 5. If you don't know, if you get Gimli level 5 and then you use Slayer, you can also use Leap Attack. And remember, the Leap Attack, um, the Slayer, will give us additional DPS. It also works on Gimli's abilities. It means if we use Slayer and while Slayer is active, we leap on them, we jump on them. Then our Legolas is gonna get crippled and we're gonna lose him. <laughs> okay, I can use Atelas to heal him up a bit, but I think I can't. There are too many combos. I, there is no way Legolas. Legolas is a very squishy hero. There is no way I can save him. There is no way I can save him. But I have money. That means I can revive him. Oh, there is a Witch King too. We need to hard focus Witch King, boys. Hard focus Witch King. I have no Legolas. I have no Eowyn. Hard focus Witch King, please. Level 8 combo. Hard focus Witch King. Focus Witch King. They have Statue plus Aragorn. Increased damage. That's like 100% more damage. Come on. Oh, Farami finished him off. Farami showing his quality. Can we somehow defend this? I don't know. Okay. Oh, nice. My teammate was actually using the Alvin Wood, but I'm gonna lose him anyway. I have no heal. Dude, I'm losing my heroes left and right. That's not good. I lost. The thing is, after Legolas died, it's like Gimli is like, without the elf, I don't want to continue anymore. That still only counts as one. Okay, so my ally is bringing Trebuchet, which is pretty good. They are dealing insane amount of damage, but in the meantime, we lost the other side of the map. And that's the downside if you don't go for cavalry, because you don't have the mo you know, mobility to keep up with the speed. You need also Theodine, <laughs> dude. You need elves. <laughs> you need lots of elves. Let's sell the yeoman to the Citadel. That's also a feature which was added to the patch 2.22. I mean, a lot of improvements and also quick update for you guys. The Beef Me 1 reward campaign is gonna be finished very soon. I mean, I mean, literally very soon, in about two weeks. And hopefully, you will be, I mean, when nothing crazy happens, that's the time. We are testing everything now. And once the testing is done, um, the campaign, for the good campaign especially, will be released. The evil campaign will be done afterwards. So what we need from you, the second uh, patch version for the campaign will be released. We need updates. And we need feedbacks. I mean, we need feedback. So if you should run into any issue, you know, into any trouble, into any problem, error, please let us know in the Discord. There is like a specific dedicated channel which is called Feedback for the patch 2.22. You can also join our Discord from the link in the description down below. And also very soon, I will be able to stream all the missions which are rewards before the release on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards, also in the description down below. And I would love to meet you in my next live stream. Be ready. Summon forth your we must remain wary. Standing ready with the flag of Rohan. Keep there they are. Alert. What should we do? Depends on us. Oh my goodness. Boys, Momo kills are coming. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> we got a fart focus. Hey, Momo kill. Okay, that was really close. But that's our Elven Wood. Oh my goodness, the army of Isengard. Can we somehow do this? Can we somehow do this? Gimli, please leap. Gimli, please leap. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, Gimli, get level 5. You slayer. Look, look, look. Boom! on your face. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I do. That's what I do. And now you gotta let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about Gimli now? Versus the first time I asked you the question at the beginning of the video. Gimli is Speedy Gonzalez. This guy is running in light speed, hitting like a truck, jumping like a rock star. Dude, uh, Gimli, my man. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see this? That was better than any Visa Plus could have been. We just owned the Isengard army, dude. Owned them. Have your weapons ready, elves. I mean, sorry for screaming, guys, but, dude, uh, <laughs> now, I mean, this creates so much tempo now for us. Now, it's the, we have double Gandalf, by the way. I mean, 
The power of double Gondor is lying in the double Gandalf. We must protect the woods. Of evil must end here. Wait a moment. And another. What about the fighting? Of evil I mean, look at the sexy Rohan army boys. We have Elvin warriors with Legolas, Theodin, Aragorn, and Gimli. I, sense evil I mean, I genuinely enjoy this. Oh, one more kiss are coming. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thing is, you don't want to send them one by one. When you make Mumakias, you want to make at least like two, maybe even three, and then send them. Because then, you, the opening player, I mean, I'm, I, I don't want to give tips now to the player who's actually, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Means a lot. I don't want to give tips to the player who actually, you know, <laughs> is trying to crush me. Oh, Theodin is running it down. Theodin, the king of Rohan is no more. This is only the Theodin imposter. Because the real Theodin is, look, which king, which king, which king. Which king? Dead king. You are dead king. No man can kill you, but these are no men. This is the race of elves. Gimli is level 8. And trouble rises. Call a dwarf. We have Cloud Break also. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have heal. And Gandalf is getting killed by Elven. She's like, I am no man, Gandalf. <laughs> you know, the myth no man can kill Gandalf. No living man can kill Gandalf. And then Elven is like, you know, I am no man. Oh, but Eowyn, you are not tank either. Eowyn, shield me then. <laughs> Eowyn is like, I did what I... Oh, okay. I want to I wanna kill you, Saruman. They would ask. They would ask. Shoot him. Nice, they would ask. Just like in the films, you know, when Aragorn is like, when the Berserker is coming to make it boom, boom, the explosive mine, and Aragorn is screaming, you know, shoot him, they would ask, shoot him, shoot him. There was the same moment. Because if he couldn't shoot this Saruman, he actually would crush our army because he took like the majority of our army, but we are good. Legolas level 10, you know what's up, the DPS from Legolas on the table is gonna be something else, it's gonna be full different dimension now, he will be, each hit is like a trebuchet shot, trust me on that one. And I didn't even notice guys, look how close we are for the EOD, we got power points collected like crazy. Like, I mean we need only two power points and a quarter, and then we will, we will be able to summon the offbreakers. The army of the dead. Stop. We fight oh, I see more Mumikis, but we can ignore them and actually finish off this Isengard castle. I mean, camp, I don't think he has anything else. <laughs> what are those soldiers doing there? <laughs> the guy, oh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, if you are wondering why they are level 2, the Mumikis, the second the Mumikil pen is level 3, will start getting out level 2. It's only specifically for the Mumikis. Make them a bit more stronger. Okay. The Mumu kill is no more. Too much DPS. Like when we stay together like this, when we are clumped like this, the amount of DPS we have is, you know, is something else. We have Theodine for more de uh, damage, Aragorn, and also Boromir from our ally. And then we have also, of course, you know, the damage from Legolas leadership for the elves. Gandalf and Farami giving us armor leadership. Look, our units, they are glowing so much. You might get blind by watching into them. Yeah, yeah. Gimli. Gimli is taking care of this in post the with us. You know what's up. Gimli. Gimli is popping off. I mean, Gandalf got crippled, but it's not a big deal. I mean, you can cripple him, but when you have not the DPS into units to kill him, it's kind of pointless. You can actually still lock him down for a few seconds, but that's about it. Oh, Gimli is level 9. Gimli is even higher level than Aragorn. I mean, dude. Oh, what happened? It was the explosive mine, actually, which one shot the Aragorn, what? I didn't pay attention. <laughs> My bad. Um, you know, guys, what do you think about the leap attack performance from the son of Glorin, Gimli, at the moment when the Isengard army was attacking out, you know, there was like a perfect situation, you know what I'm saying? You cannot make this up. Like, they were committing on us to the outpost, and because the outpost was next to the Elven Wood, which also belonged to our teammate, the, the second Isengard army arrived, they lost their leadership bonuses. They were on our land. And then Gimli leaped on them while they have no bonuses. That means they have no increased armor, and Gimli's leap attack was actually one-shotting literally everything. And now we have also EOD. One player has been defeated, GAZ is no more. And now it's about this Rohan player. I think that's Povenjo, because he was the one who was said, Shanks, we will crash you. Super Banjo, my man. I like him. He's a good Twitch viewer. I mean, he's a good friend of mine. He's also playing a lot of in these games. 
and we also, I mean, I appreciate everyone who's playing these games online. Because what BFME needs the most are actually online active players. And Super Banjo is one of them. I'm gonna use EOD eventually. Uh, look, <laughs> the moment kills charged the Rangers down, just like in the film. I mean, in the films, they couldn't even touch the Rangers. I was, oh, guys, quick question to you. Um, you know the the moment with the rangers in the films, you know, the, it's you know with the forbidden pool when the when the moment kill coming and the rangers, you know, have like an ambush situation. They kill every single moment kill. And what happened to them afterwards? Like what happened to the rangers? I think I've not seen any of them during the Minas Tirith war in the film. Like I've only seen Gondor Archer's tower guards, but none of the rangers. I was, you know, why not? These are your best archers. Why would you not bring them? To the fact, I don't get it. What do you guys think? What happened to the Rangers? Or were they in Minas Tirith and I couldn't see them? I don't know. Let me know in the comments in the comment section down below, please. Yeah, Super Benjo. Super Benjo. I should make a clickbait of this one, Super Benjo, and see. Shanks, we will crash you and then also take a screenshot of you saying GG, but no, I'm not gonna do this to you, Super Benjo. <laughs> okay. I mean, AOD, Cloud Break, everything can be used. The Mordor is the last man standing. And the Moomai Kills did a phenomenal job, though. It's a nice strategy. It's a bit more engaging and entertaining than going for the Catapults, which would be, of course, the better choice. I think the Isengard player... Did he just trample Gandalf from my teammate? <laughs> Moomai Kills... Dude, Moomai Kills are so dangerous. And they require so much attention. Look, they are happy. I mean, my ally is laughing. But what are you laughing about? You just lost your Gandalf. Gandalf ended up like a foot on the Moomai kill. Why would you laugh about that? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, boys. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And let me know if you want to see more 3v3s in this channel in the upcoming days. And uh, yeah. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always... Stay beyond standards. Peace out, guys.